Hi guys, welcome to my um, video on this Kylie Jenner recreation look. Um, so it is a makeup look. It is a makeup look she did um, that Holly Boone recreated, and it looked really good. So I thought I'd give it a go. Um, it's this sort of like pinky, super bright under eye um, and winged liner look. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. So if you want to find out how I did this, then please keep on watching. And yeah, if you enjoy the video, please can you subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. And yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna jump in. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to take a little bit of the MAC um, strobe cream in the shade Gold Light. And I'm just gonna moisturize the skin. Prime. Next thing I'm going to take is the Benefit Professional, and I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes, just um, as Kylie has that really like super airbrushed, um, like flawless under eye. I get quite um, shallow, uneven bits here, so I'm just evening that out. So for foundation, I'm going to use a little bit of a mixture. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix um, Fluid Foundation in the shade NC40 and I'm going to mix it with the NARS, um, is it Audio Lube? No. The NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Valencia. I'm just going to blend the foundation round with um, my Real Techniques Expert Base Brush. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. So I'm just going to start with the angle here, just to sort of thicken up the arch. My eyebrows are sort of like quite a lot thicker than obviously how Kylie has done, but I can't make part of my eyebrows disappear, so it's just gonna have to be slightly thicker. So I'll just create in that arch a little bit more. tiny brush strokes at the start just that's how I always do my brows and then I'm just gonna do the other one has anyone else forgot how to do makeup in lockdown because I definitely have I'm going to take the P Louise um, concealer and that is in the shade 02, like this. Just to sort of um, outline the brow, bra oh. just to outline, just to outline the brows, yeah. Um, and just to give that sort of highlighted underbrow look that she's got. Having out that underneath. Just to sort of lift the eye area, just you know, so it looks a little bit more like this. Um, I'm just gonna continue out the concealer out here, just so the brow doesn't end too low down. Now I'm just going to take this Real Techniques um, Beauty Blender sort of sponge and buff that out. This is really good for prepping the eye. Um, my eye doesn't crease as much. Um, with eyeshadows and stuff, I'm really, really bad for getting like oily eyelids there and like getting little crease marks. So this helps um, that not happen. Just gonna go ahead and do the other one.
Okay, then just taking my Beauty Blender Real Techniques sponge and blending it. Okay, now I also like um, just to give it more of a highlighted feel around the sort of eyebrow area um, and to sort of give that sort of ultra bright, ultra bright, ultra bright look. Um, I'm going to outline a little bit around the tops of the eyebrows as well, just so it's kind of, just so it's going to kind of match in with the under eye. Taking the same concealer. I'm just going to do the same on the other eye and then I'm going to blend it in. Okay, just going to add a tiny bit in the middle there because I always get like a little red section, especially when I like sunbathe. I'm always like frowning, so I always get like a little red line. And I've been sunbathing um, the last couple of days on and off, you know, because. Quarantine, weekend, chilled. I'm just gonna blend that in lightly. Okay, now I'm just going to set that with um, my Rimmel Translucent Parent, which is in there. Oh my God. I'm just gonna set that with the, I think it's a Rimmel, but it's faded off. I'm pretty sure it's Rimmel. Um, but it's the Transmar, oh my, oh my God. Trans Transparent powder. So I'm just gonna loosely, loosely, I'm just gonna lightly set that over the concealer. So I'm just going to take the shade Sandalwood uh, out of this rose gold edition um, Huda Beauty palette. Um, and just sort of lightly, just a bit of shadow, how Kylie has it. Just sort of like in the crease. Then I'm just going to do the other eye. I'm just gonna look at the picture again because I can't remember what I'm doing next. So I'm just gonna do that sort of like cat eye wing flick. I'm just trying to think, I think I might do this. Yeah, because it's quite like Although it's like a wing, it's quite like a naturalish wing. So I might do it in like a dark brown. I'm gonna outline it with like a dark brown shadow and then I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of um, dark brown liner. Just taking the shade Coco out of the Huda Beauty palette now and taking my little angled brush that I used for my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with like a makeup wipe and stuff afterwards to make it like neater. I'm not very good at like wings. Okay, okay then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the shade Black Truffle. Just to make it fraction darker. And then I'm going to focus on doing the wing. I'm going to go back in with brown, the cocoa. Like so. Then I'm gonna repeat on the other eye. So now I'm just taking a makeup wipe to neaten up the edges. So I haven't got a brown liquid eyeliner, so I'm going to take the MYX um, Tinted Mascara. And I'm just going to take that little angled brush that I've got from Boots um, and get a little bit of the product on the end and then just go over the wing. Wow, the whole eyeliner. Okay, so for lashes, I'm just taking, um, so they're actually just some 
uh, like cheapy strip lashes. They were really thin and I've created my own like handmade um, strip lashes. I've done it with individuals and easy fans and um, to the like Russian style lashes. If you want to see how I did this then please comment down below and I'll show you how to make them. They're like a little bit wispier and more like an individual eyelash look which I thought would be good for this look because um, she hasn't got super thick lashes on and it's got an invisible uh, lash band which is also good. Okay, so now the lashes are on. Um, now I'm going to do some under eye um, shadow and then a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes just to match the Kylie look. And then I'm gonna go in with concealer. So I'm just going to take this um, Iconic London brush. Don't actually know what this is, but it's an Iconic London one. And I'm gonna go back in with the shade Sandalwood. Just to lightly dust under the eyes. Just so they're not completely naked. Now I'm just going to go in with the NYX brown tinted mascara to do the bottom lashes. Now I'm just going to go over the um, eyelashes lash band, lash, lash band, lash, lash band, um, because um, it's clear so it, I can see it slightly. So I'm using the Fenty um, Beauty eyeliner. Um, so I'm just going to go over it with this. Um, this is from Louisa so shout out to you Lou because I love this. Okay so next I'm going to go in with concealer. So I'm going to use a mixture um, of the Tarte Shape Dye. Shape Dye? the Tarte Shape Tape um, in the shade Light Sand with a mixture of the P. Louise um, Concealer in the shade 2. Just gonna pop it on. Then I'm just blending in with my Real Techniques sponge. And then I'm just gonna drag it out to give that brow lift look. swooping across so now I'm just going to um, put a little bit of the Rimmel powder under my eyes just to um, set it in place now the fun part I'm going to um, do um, a little bit of blush so I'm going to be going back in with my expert face brush because for blush I'm going to start off by using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, in the shade Coral, Warm Coral, on the cheek. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of the um, Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in the shade Deep Bronze. I'm just going to mark out where I want the cheekbones. This is super intense, so you don't need much. And then I'm gonna do the head, the head, the forehead. And then a little bit on the nose. Do it on the jawline. Then I'm going to blend with the Expert Face Brush. A little bit on the nose. I find um, this quite a good trick if I go like a little bit patchy and it doesn't blend great. I take a little bit of powder and a um, beauty blender and just pat over it and I'm just carving out the contour and then I'm just going to go in on my forehead 
and put a little bit of powder there. And then I'm just going to do my nose down the sides. Um, I'm going to dust off this sort of cray cray contour look, look um, after I've done my lips. So I'm just going to go on to my lips. I'm going to use a mixture of the MAC Stone Lip Liner and the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. So I'm just first going in with Stone. Yeah, so I'm just going to slightly overline there. Now I'm just going to go over with Sweet Tea just to make it sort of like warmer. So I'm going to go in with the MAC um, Sweet No Sugar Pinky Nude Colour because I feel like this is quite a pinky one. I'm going to go in with the MAC Scattered Petals Pink. This is a slightly darker, richer pink. Now I'm going to go in with a bit of the Jordana Tissier um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Smooch. I'm going to use um, this pinky highlighter um, to match the sort of like pink tone of the Kylie look. It's a Topshop highlighter in the shade Mother of Pearl. And as you can see, it's like a really pinky, you can see that, like rose goldy highlighter. You probably struggle to see that it's actually quite pink. It probably looks like gold on the camera. And then on my nose, it's that tiny little dotted section like she has. And slightly up there. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a tiny bit on top of my lip. And this is the finished look. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanted um, to ask me any questions, then please drop a message down below or anything. If you enjoyed, please can you subscribe to my channel and please like the video. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.